this is Stephanie, your CSA coach, and this is video number five for our Instapot series. So this video is gonna focus on cooking frozen meat. So it's a really great tool. It's one of the best features of the Instapot because if you forget to take out your meat in the morning that you're gonna cook for dinner and it's not defrosted, you can still cook it if it's frozen solid. So tonight I'm cooking a meal that requires um, ground beef. So we're going to cook the ground beef from frozen because it's still pretty frozen solid. So my Instapot is plugged in. It's off. I haven't set it to anything yet. I'm going to put the trivet in and then I'm going to put the ground beef right inside the inner pot. So I have that ready to go. We do need liquid. So I'm putting about a cup you can put about a cup to a cup and a half of water. And then we're ready to put the lid on. So just make sure your lid is set to sealed so that we can pressurize. We hear it beep when you put it on, lock it. Double check again if it's sealed, it is. The um, valve is pointing down. And we wanna set it to manual for 20 minutes. So adjust it for 20 and it's going to cook for 20 minutes. When we're done, this will be cooked and I can either drain it, drain out the liquid, which is what I'm going to do because I don't need the liquid for, um, for the dinner that I'm making, or you can turn it to saute, use the saute feature, um, and evaporate the liquid that's in there. Or if your recipe calls for using some sort of liquid, then you can use it that way. The other thing you can do is cook your um, ground beef or your chicken or whatever you're cooking in your Instapot that's frozen. You can cook that and then you can refrigerate it for the next day or you can freeze it um, to use later on so it's already pre-cooked. So it's just an easy way if you're meal prepping and stuff like that to use your Instapot to get a quick cook on a meal. So I'm actually cooking ziti tonight and I need in the Instapot, so I'll post about that. Um, it's a new recipe I'm trying, so I'll let you know how that goes, but I needed the cooked ground beef for the ziti. So that's gonna cook for 20 minutes and then I'll be ready to release the pressure and pull that out and use it for tonight's dinner. So this is just a video of, yes, you can cook frozen meat. And this was an example of frozen ground beef, but you can also do it with chicken breasts and other meat as well.